Hank Alcons here, Supply Network Dynamics, Chapter 10, Travail, Transparency and Trust on Bio-Supplier Relationship Dynamics in High-Tech Electronics. With this chapter, we move into the, the, the fourth part of this course, which deals uh, not with demand shock dynamics, not with quality workload dynamics, but with human relationship dynamics. And the main difference is it's the destabilizing nature of, of, uh, of human dynamics. Uh, both in the demand shock and in the workload uh, quality uh, examples, there was always negative feedback. There was always some uh, attempt to regulate something to move performance towards a certain goal, either explicitly by the managers at uh, stake. So there's a required capacity, there's a current capacity, and you try to bring the current capacity towards that goal of the required capacity or uh, more or less by the outside world. So there's a, a desired lead time for customers, there's the actual lead time, and they will try to do something about that. Uh, however, that's if you want to understand uh, dynamics in supply networks, that's not enough. You have to also look at uh, uh, buyer-supplier relationship dynamics, at the human dynamics, and these are much more explosive. They are much more explosive uh, in the sense that things can go wrong quite easily because they all involve reinforcing feedback loops that will either go on and on and on or will go down and down and down. These are often relationship spirals as they're often called. And that can be pretty scary, although many managers uh, like Goofy here remain pleasantly unaware of what's happening in those wild uh, feedback loops of which you can only hope that they remain indeed uh, within control. So the contents uh, of this chapter are first what we just did, the relationship dynamics as a overriding theme for chapters 10, 11 and 12. Then there's a lot of theory on uh, how the dynamics of buyer-supply relationships evolve over time, or a lot, at least quite some theory. We then move to the case setting, which is uh, set at Philips Electronics in 2000, 2002, 2004, you could almost say, on collaborative planning uh, for the business, the then explosively growing business of uh, uh, optical storage media, DVDs, CDs, etc. Then something on the change approach, in which we actually try to, uh, to uh, use those relationship spirals in a positive sense and then some business results. Okay.